project and we'll grab oh, there we go we'll grab this head here so we've got this head here and if you wanted to build up this head so we'll just start with that shape here let's go ahead I'm gonna grab the select lasso hold down uh, control shift and we're just gonna kill that kill that and uh, we'll smooth out the face. We'll go ahead and do a delete hidden. It's already got Dynamesh set up. So we can go ahead and just uh, smooth this out. I'm going to change my smooth brush to smooth stronger. And we'll just kind of smooth these out. So let's say we don't have anything. And we'll turn our perspective. We've still got a head shape here. So of course, uh, we're going to do eyeballs here. We're going to go in here and just grab. Uh, you can go brush insert, BI insert, and go to the insert mesh primitives. I have my own custom menu here, which you can get on my gum road if you'd like. Um, if it draws out flat like this, just change your Z intensity up to 100. And that'll just go ahead and pop those out. So let's go ahead and split, mass points, hit W, and we'll move these back in. And now we've got uh, our eyeballs here. If we hit, uh, let's go ahead and set those back to the middle. And we'll go ahead and rotate these around and up. There we go. So if we hit D, we'll have a nice uh, eyeball in here. Now, of course, if we want to put eyelids on here, uh, if for any character, but especially for stylized, uh, it's about really manipulating primitives in here. In fact, if we want to put a, a, an ear in here, um, I've seen a couple different ways you can use cylinders and kind of mush those in the shape. You can also do, uh, if we go back to here, let's go to brush, um, curve BC, and there's the curve quad fill or the curve tri fill. It doesn't really matter. So we'll do curve quad fill. And now with this one, you can make an ear shape here. And then you can go ahead and tap off, and then I'll give you just kind of a, a simple primitive here. You can just go ahead and split on mass points and then you can all tap this one. We can rotate this one around and kind of put this where we want. And like I said, it's manipulating primitives here. So back to the face, we can go back here with our, let's do sphere 32, just get a nice high resolution sphere. And we'll dial in that nose. We'll go ahead and split on mass points. Our split mass points, probably a better shot, better option. So we can kind of just put the stuff in here. Again, if we hold down, well, Let's turn off X, hit W, hold down control and drag out a copy. And then we'll just go ahead and do a quick mirror, mirror and weld. And now we've got this one. We'll hit X to turn X symmetry back on. We'll put these into place. We can go in here to scale and scale these things up. Let's turn on L sim so it scales on the local axis. And now you can use your move brush to kind of go in here and kind of dial in like, well, where do I want the cheeks to go? Um, if you want more on this, go to that a link I sent out earlier. There's way better people at this than me on the Pixelogic live stream. I think like at least four of them. Let me go, let me back up one. Pixel, there we go. There's a, there's Twitch streamers on here. If you go through their playlists that pretty much just do stylized stuff, go watch their stuff. They'll, they'll be much better at it than I am. Um, I can give you my two cents on it. <laughs> real quick walkthrough, uh, but you can watch them kind of do their thing. Let me see, preferences, edit, align cursor to surface. If we go back to the eyeballs here, we can go ahead and duplicate this, and let's go ahead and hold down. Let's go ahead and apply those divisions. Let's go to geometry, delete, lower, and we'll go in here with slice. Actually, let's go in here with trim, and we can go ahead and trim an upper lid here, and then we'll go ahead and select this one here, and we'll go ahead and duplicate this one. We'll go ahead, and I don't know if this is exactly what they would do. I'm basically taking you through what I would do for some of this stuff. We'll delete lower, and then we'll do our lower lid here. Oops, let's go this way. There we go. All right, uh, so now we've got our eyeball here, which is just dynamic, and then we've got our two eyelids here. So let's go ahead and inflate those eyelids just a little bit. Or, you know what, let's scale those up. Let's see, let's hit E or W, and then we'll go to the middle of Unmasked there. So we'll scale this one up. We'll go to the eyelid here. Hold down Alt, go to the middle of the Unmasked center. There we go. So now you can kind of start uh, dialing these things in. If you want to put a brow in there, in fact, for the brow, what you might want to do is let's go to BTO, Topology Brush, and we can just kind of put in uh, a brow shape here. Go to thick to thin and we can just kind of start dialing this in. And then we can tap off to get our thickness there. We'll go ahead and split mass points. So now you've got, you know, more shapes in here. And then when you got it's and for the stylized stuff, it's really more about how simple the shapes you can get in here to manipulate because when you start sculpting and subdividing, it's going to be let's go ahead and split mass points. And we kind of just use our move brush here. It's going to be how smooth those transitions are going to be able to 
to be uh, on here. So if we go in here to Sphere 32, we can put in like little nose here and just kind of stick those in. Now, if you want to Dynamesh these together, but you want to keep the nostrils separate, that's also where groups can come into play. So you can Dynamesh those together. And again, they'll still stay separate, uh, but they'll still be Dynameshed in here. So you can go in here with your clay brush or whatever and do whatever you need to do. Now, once you've got all this stuff set up, you know, and you can start sculpting the ear too if you want to. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll hit D on that one. Let's go ahead and uncrease polygroups here. Uncrease all. D. There we go. So uh, let's see if we got this face kind of going. Uh, I'm going to shoot all of these to the top. Hold down shift with the bent up arrow here. And then I'm just going to start merging these down. So I have a hot key for my merge button, but uh, for you guys, it'll be in the subtool menu. And then once all of this stuff is merged here, you can just Dynamesh this all together and then go through here and smooth this stuff out. Now, of course, with the Dynamesh resolution, you're going to want to um, make sure that your, um, your resolution is high enough and you're going in here and you're sculpting stuff out and making stuff look really cute and or stylized, I shouldn't say cute. So you're able to go in here and, you know, the mouth would be the same thing. So while you're in here sculpting the mouth, you're going to want to go through here and you know, do all your sculpting stuff or with the um, insert mesh brushes too with your uh, spheres. You can put a ball here and kind of stretch those out and then or make a mouth bag and then go through here and do all of that. But like I said, there's much better people at this stuff than I am. I don't really do this style overly much. It's not rocket science, but it's just um, kind of getting in there and dialing in your base shapes and then dynamesh them together and then Z remeshing to get nice smooth surfaces and then sculpting. Cool. Yeah, Danny Mac, Shane Olson, uh, Joe Pickup, and uh, I, I mean, like I said, on that Pixelogic channel, a lot of them do the stylized stuff. In fact, I'd say almost the majority now. Cool. Yeah. So, like I said before, it's, uh, you know, you can make a head really quick uh, and, and all sorts of characters and doing the whole uh, sculptable thing for this type of thing. Well, let's go ahead and use our pinch brush here. Let's see if we can kind of dial that in just a little bit here but yeah you can see how quickly that stuff can start coming together here oh and for these uh, little dimples I put in there so if you use the move brush that's just going to give you um, kind of a, a soft fall off of course we're doing the whole uh, move with AccuCurve turned on and I have a hotkey set for that so that'll actually pull to a point so that's how I was able to just kind of grab and kind of pull um, up to a point in here to kind of get that look so, and then of course you can go into your Damien standard. You can start carving in and then carving out however you want to kind of get that stuff done. And then the ears over here. Now, even this ear, I wouldn't even bother. I would like, honestly, for a lot of this stuff, like noses and ears and stuff, if you can also use a vector displacement. So if we go B, C, uh, go up here to the chisel 3D. You're going to see there's a ton of, you can just start building up vector displacement libraries if you want to do that instead. So you can get an instant nose or even mouths in here. Uh, so you can start building up a library of stuff you can kind of pull through and just start with that. Uh, might be a little bit easier. As well as definitely ears. Uh, I would just sculpt a couple stylized ears that you want to use. So that way you're, and it's, it's okay for practice. If it's like, well, I want to practice making ears. I'm not going to stop you doing that. But if you're in production and you're making money, um, you know, if you want to sculpt an ear for an hour or if you want to have an ear done and it takes you two seconds, then, I would, you know, pick which one makes the most sense for your uh, particular lifestyle here. But I would say for these ears here, let's go ahead and do a delete hidden. And if you've already got an ear library, there's a, there is uh, some ears in here. If we go to the body parts here, we can go ahead and grab an ear. Let's see if this is the right side. No. This side. There we go. So you can go ahead and just use an insert mesh brush or the vector displacement to kind of get you, you know, 85% there or 100% there. You know, these ears are for me, I would have to do a little bit of work. But once I've done that work, I would just save it out as a vector displacement brush or an insert mesh brush, either one. And it'll already have a lot of that work done for me. And that way I don't have to go through here and go, okay, let me, let me re-sculpt this one out. So this is going to come through here and kind of... And again, this is just mostly Damien standard, standard brush, clay brush, that kind of thing. So these things will kind of curl in. And then you have your little 
you know, tragus and anti-tragus and all that little weird ear stuff that goes on. And that'll just save you from having to do that over and over and over again. Again, it's not bad practice and just get some reference out and kind of start dialing this stuff in. Let's go ahead and dig this stuff in. Now with the vector displacements, you will be able to get these undercuts going. So if, again, if we go to BC brush chisel, hit M, and we grab like this mouth, for example, you're going to see we'll be able, we're able to do um, undercuts. Let's go to the side here. There we go. So we've got undercuts you're able to do in here, or if you want to go crazy, do some really cool stuff. You can grab these. So now the vector displacements can do the undercuts here, so you can kind of go through here and do that kind of stuff. And of course, you don't have to just limit it to, let's see, brush chisel. Oh, I also hit M a lot, but you can also obviously scroll up here. You're not limited to just dragging drag rect. You can also change this to a dot stroke and kind of lay them on here. So if you go to stroke, curve, not curve, lazy mouse, you can maintain, you can do your lazy step here. So light, uh, thick, and light again. So you can use your vector displacements for that kind of thing as well. Or if you want to just drag in, a, drag in a bunch, you can use drag dot and that'll keep them all the same size uh, as you're dragging these things out. So kind of up to you if you want to do that.